What's going on YouTube? Um, got another video today. I'm going to talk about some differences between jerseys. Because um, I know a lot of people always have questions like, you know, is it authentic or is it a replica? And I want to talk about the differences between those. Because there's a couple of different ones. There's an old replica. Uh, there's a premiere, but there's also two types of premieres. Some people might not know that. And then there's an authentic, which I have there. the Flames Heritage Classic. Um, we'll start off with the replicas or premieres. This is an old Coho. Um, Oilers alternate jersey. It's a replica. What that means when it's a replica is the patches aren't stitched. They're heat pressed on. Like that's it's good quality patches, as you can see. But there's no there's no stitching. There's no like you can see. There's no stitching through it. And I'll show you under here too, because if it was, it would probably be white stitching. See, there's no stitching. Another thing with replicas is there is no fight strap. A lot of people know. In hockey, they have fight straps to keep the jersey down, and that's what you'll see on the Authentics. Um, another thing with these old um, replicas that I like more than the premieres, actually, the shoulder patches are actual patches. Be able to focus in there. There you go. It's an actual patch. It is not screen printed like on the uh, other premiere. And of course, the jerseys are a little bit different in material because these are older. These are the Reebok edges. Um, I personally like the old jerseys more because I just like the way it fits a little bit better. I know people like the premieres because they're like tighter fitting, but for me, I like looser hockey jerseys, I guess. I always go up to get like an XL or like a double XL just because it fits a lot looser. Um, I'm trying to think of different stuff. As you can see, there's no NHL crest there that was added with the premieres. Um, a couple different things about the premieres. Here I have... Um, J.S. Jaguar, Toronto Maple Leafs premiere. Um, this is better quality than this one. This one I got at a like local sports store as a Champs. Um, this is like the kind of premiere jersey you'll find at like a sports authority or Dick Sporting Goods or something like that. And the difference between these, um, you might notice it right now. Um, these are the same, the rest are the same. Um, they're just like the uh, CCM or Coho replica, I should say, that I have. Um, that's an actual patch, it's not stitched on though, but it is an actual patch, let me see if I can get it to focus, oh, well, there you go, it is an actual patch, same on this Lightning jersey, this is a Vanilla Cavalier jersey, but, here's the thing with these that you get at the, like at a sports store, that's Corey Conacher and Tom Pyatt signatures, so in case you were wondering, but um, Here's the difference. Uh, the quality in this is nowhere near as good as this one. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. Take a look at this three. This three is actually stitched on. This is what you'll find at like the stadiums. I managed to find this on eBay for like 60 bucks, which was a good deal because Jigga is my favorite player. So, um, like I said, you'll see there's actual stitching. And if I can get into the sleeve here, I'll show you. If I can maybe get it. It's too high up. I'll show you on the. Uh, back of the uh, like the back numbers but if you look here on the store bought you'll see the number is stitched which that's good and all but this right here is not stitching the gray and the black that is not that is screen print why is this bad um it sucks I'll show you on the back exactly why it sucks um, also a shoulder patch oops sorry about that shoulder patch up here is also screen printed and just stitched it's not like that although that is not stitched as an actual patch and so I like it a lot better this only on authentic premieres I mean authentic um, edges you will see that that is um, stitched we'll go to the back here on these jerseys <clears throat> you'll be able to see real quick look at this this because it's just a screen printed number there's already like marks like there's just peeling Everywhere it just marks, and I haven't—I didn't even wear it that much, honestly. It has a nameplate, but it's not like a decent nameplate, I guess you can say. Again, the name up here is also screen printed. That's that's not stitching at all. That's screen print, just like on uh, up here on the uh, patch. Uh, Reebok Edge emblem is typically the same. Up here, the Vector logo is typically the same on all the premieres. It's not an actual um, patch. You'll see on that in the Authentic here in a second. But it just, like, just look at it. It looks shitty, right? 
a bunch of scratches everywhere, still screen printed. And when you go over here to like stadium quality, you notice this is much better. These numbers are actually triple layer stitched. And like I said, you'll see it is stitched on, but it's just so flimsy. And then you get this stitched on, but it is uh, just much better quality. Same with the name up here. You'll notice that this is actual, um, this is actual stitching. And then this is actually, a, uh, I believe it's a twill nameplate. Could be wrong, but this one has a lot better nameplate. It's um, like not flimsy. And then you look at this, and then you can do whatever with it. Now, some people always ask, you know, what's the difference between Reebok Edge Premiers and Reebok Edge Authentics, which we'll go over that now. We'll use the Jaguar and the Flames jersey for this because the Jaguars are better quality. So we'll just compare it to that. Um, I don't know. I do not have a name on this jersey. But um, it is a size 54. Um, still has the tags on it, actually. You'll be able to see here. Um, 54. Uh, I believe it showed the original price on here, too, somewhere. It was like cut down. I managed to get it for um, 150 I think. Which is very good because these jerseys typically go for 300 Okay, so here we go. Oh, here I'll show you the difference between the crests. Well, you'll see on this one, this one is actually, because it's a Heritage Classic, it is like a fuzzy, like, felt crest, because it's supposed to be, like, vintage for the Heritage Classic when they played it. Um, so, we'll look in here, and you will be able to see, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it is, I'll try to get better light on it, because it's dark. Um, there. You can see that it's actually stitched. That is stitching across it. And then if you were to come over here on the Maple Leaf jersey, there is no stitching where the crest is. That is the stem of the Maple Leaf right there. There's no stitching on it. It's just heat pressed on. Oh, another thing. these Another thing I hate about the Premiers, too. Um, they all had um, size tags, which I thought was stupid. Like, why is there a need for that? You don't need to, like, show the world, you know. Oh, hey, I'm wearing a large jersey. Like, what the fuck? No, put that away. But, um, here we go. Up here. Heritage Classic patch, any patches on Authentics. You can also get patches on Premiers stitched on as well. I believe they do. That. They provide that at the stadium if you were to get like a 20th anniversary patch or something. Um, you notice that it's stitched on as well. Heritage Classic. Um, NHL Crest is stitched on as well. I believe that's also stitched on on the Premiers, but I could be wrong. And then, you'll notice the material is a little bit different, like you see a different color here. This is real stretchy material for more breathing, like breathing room, I should say. The camera makes it look really bright, but it's actually really dark and, um, like a darker yellow, but the camera makes it look bright, oh well. Um, like you'll go over here, and you'll see it has like the little, it, you'll see it has it for it, but it's the same material. To around here, it's a different material, it's like what the players wear. Um, if it's a team issued, or a uh, game worn, they will not have the jock tag up here. It'll be cut off. And then when you go to the back, here's what I was talking about with the vector. You can kind of see that it's an actual patch. You know, stitched on. And it's not like sewn directly into the jersey. It's an actual patch and then sewn on. To where as over here, you will see it is not a patch. It is just um that's actual just jersey and it's directly sewn into it. Now, another big difference, you know, everybody always knows, the um, the fight strap. You can see the outline of it there. When you're buying a jersey, you'll see some, like, you know, ch fake Chinese jerseys or whatever. Um, you'll see they just have this part. They don't have the big, um, like, layer stitch onto it as well. They'll just have this small little box. And we'll look at the fight strap, and the fight strap quality is always really good here, too. There's the fight strap. It is stretchy, nice material. Um, this is really good, stitched on, just so the uh, so the players don't get their jersey pulled over, get a game misconduct, fucking stupid ass rules these days in the NHL. But um, that is the biggest difference. And like I said, um, I'm probably gonna get like Corey Sarris or something on here. I'm trying, I'm trying to get more enforcer jerseys. Actually, I got a, I got jerseys coming in later this week, which I'll make a video of on too. It's pretty cool. Got new Storm jerseys. From the lightning so I'll make a video of that later this week be on the lookout for that 
But yeah, like I said, um, as far as ties go, um, they're the same quality on each jersey. These are more vintage looking, and then you come over to here. These were a little weird back then. They looked like, honestly, look like fucking shoelaces. If you can see it. It looks like shoelaces, but oh well. Um, that is about it. If I had to go with any jersey, like if you're not looking to break the bank, um, I'd say go with an old one. But if you really wanted like a good quality uh, premier jersey, get one like this. And either get a kit for it or get a... Um, just get it done at the stadium, even though the stadium is kind of expensive. I think the Lightning games, it's about $100, which is kind of expensive. But um, it'll just, it'll last a lot longer, honestly. You look at this, and like I said, you see, you see the back number. I've maybe worn that Lightning jersey 15 times, probably, in total. And it just it just looks like shit. Like, look at that, man. Like, what the fuck? Pay all that fucking money for that, just for it to get marked up and peel off? Like, this part right here, that's fucking peeling off. Like, what the hell? Oh, also, too, forgot, um, on these Lightning jerseys, they're supposed to be their number right here, and then their captain patch, um, it didn't come with it, which is kind of fucking stupid, um, let me see here, I had to cut it off a little bit, like, you'll notice that looks kind of funny, it's cut, because it started peeling off as well, so, like I said, if I had to go with anything, buy a jersey at a stadium, or off eBay, buy a Premier, but make sure you get one blank, or if you know the numbers are nice quality stitching, like that, then go ahead and get that because you'll be kind of disappointed with this of how like just shit quality it is. You can't do anything about the screen printed um uh, shoulder patches, but uh, like I said, I would stay away from you know Dick Sporting Goods, Sports Authority, Champ Sporting Goods, all that shit for these jerseys because you'll just end up disappointed. Um, as far as uh, authentics go for like CCM and Cohos. Uh, it's about, it'll be like about the same as that, just the different shell. It'll be the much bigger jersey. The, even though this looks big, like the sleeve looks really big because it's a 54. Uh, I believe that's like a double. It'd be like a little bit above a double XL, one step below a triple XL, I believe. So it's it's kind of it fits kind of big on me. I don't know how much wearing I'll do on it because I mean it still has the tags and it's not authentic, so I don't want to ruin it at all. Uh, just like my wild wing up there, I would hardly ever wear that. <laughs> um, if you notice, like I said, my storm jersey's gone. Uh, my black one is gone as well, so I gotta, I'm getting those customized. Those should be here later this week. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Really hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave some in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.